the climate talks have been the making of a regime to govern the climate, the entire climate narrative, it's built on accepting financialization. So now we have a worldwide carbon market, but we also have biodiversity offsets. We have a habitat banking. We have pollination credits. We have now blue carbon bonds. So we are in, in an era today where the unthinkable became true, that we can talk of natural capital as something that can be owned, bought, and traded, uh, and this is refers to pretty much the fabric of life and nature itself. Today, the entire development industry that we criticize it so much of how it imposed Western ways of living, how it pushed different cultures towards the extreme modernization, has been rebranded now as the climate and development. It's a combo, you know. You see that the people that are meeting there, they are not connected to any real world project. Only if the real world project is something about accounting for carbon somewhere and selling, you know, some monoculture solar panel or some windmills uh, offshore, onshore, to generate more energy, to feed more data centers because you need more data to see this carbon, process the carbon. So it's an spiral. A new world is possible. The Zapatistas would say, I, I want to uh, live in a world where many worlds are possible. So we don't want just one vision. We have a vision that is able to hold everybody's vision, but built from the ground up and not presented to us as this omni-solution, one size fits all.